into the uh, incorporated into the municipality of Dresden in 1921 against the will of its inhabitants. Very strict building regulations had been uh, issued here in the, in the late 19th century, it, uh, which said that a real, ha a real villa would be defined by its garden. A house would always stay just a house if it wouldn't be surrounded by a big enough garden. And I think you can compare it here. On the right hand, on our right hand side, we can see these real villas. On our left hand side, we have these shabby little houses with their small four gardens. Uh, you can also see um, modern buildings here because some of the old villas were destroyed by the air raids and the gaps were filled with these modern city villas after after 1990. And upcoming on our right hand side is a villa in the style of early French Renaissance which burned out in World War II. Only the outer walls were standing here throughout the entire communist era but after 1990 it was rebuilt as a real villa. Upcoming on our left hand side with a beautiful Art Nouveau <coughs> facade. This is really rare here in Dresden. On our right hand side you can see a villa in country house style which houses the preschool of the international school of Dresden. So parents can have their children taught in English here but they have to be prepared to pay for that because this is slightly more expensive than the average public school. Upcoming on our right hand side is another villa which is under reconstruction now. It has an almost white facade. Thank you. And you can see it here on the right hand side. On the left hand side, you can see a brick villa with an onion shaped tower. And the brick villa on the left hand side it was, just, was just the gardener's house of the other villa on the right hand side. Actually, even the gardeners had very good living and working conditions here in Dresden around 1900. We want to approach um, the River Elbe and also its meadow, it, its banks with these beautiful white meadows and with the so-called Alp slopes of Loschwitz, which are the foothills of the plateau of the Lusatia, which is a beautiful landscape to the northeast of Dresden. And during the last centuries, these these hills were uh, were completely covered with vineyard with vineyards. Uh, but then the phylloxera came, the wine fretter, in, in 1887, so all the vineyards had to be destroyed. And then rich people started to build their villas 